And, you know, over the, the, the course of the, the cohort that you all completed, um, I hope you understood that Rubicon here is a, a fantastic team for you all to have. And I'm so pleased to come here uh, week after week, Friday after Friday. Um, when I was first invited to come, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I am a Richmond resident. I grew up here. I was educated here. And when I can come and see that we still have the same philosophy of building upon family, upon friends, upon programs, upon services, that we all need one another, that it takes a think of the flowers and the weeds. I think, why do my flowers never live? Why are my weeds so resilient? <laughs> the roses, of course, I give them 110%. I make sure they get the right amount of shade and sunlight. They got food with the fertilizer. They got a good amount of water. And they maybe last a month and a half. Maybe they'll get one flower before they just yeah, die. Right? But the weeds, though, I put poison on them. I rip them from the ground. I disrespect them as much as I can. And they still come back over and over and over. Caught up in this idea that our job is to help people. It's to do things for people. It's true, we're here to help you, but we're not, we're not here to do things for you. We really want to create a situation where you all can do things for yourselves. Is what makes us grow. It makes us strong. And imagine how that antelope feels when he made it away from all the tigers, lions, and bears. Oh my, right? Imagine how he feels. How do you think he feels about himself? How, how's he feel? You feeling what? Relieved. What else? Alive. Happy to be alive, right? He's probably learned some lessons too. He's like, when I zigged, I should have zagged. You know what I mean? I stopped. You almost got me. I should have done this. Be quiet. I hope each and every one of you is challenged. I hope you understand, like, you are the solution to your life. You are. Okay, because you make the choice. I want to start out and say, like, about two weeks ago, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do for myself, to be honest with y'all. And uh, once I got here, you know, I got a sense of direction. Like, I know what I want to do now. I, you know, they say nothing happens overnight, but in these two, these two weeks, I mean, I didn't accomplish so much. I didn't, I didn't found myself though. You know, I, you know, how you be confused, like what you want to do. You be like at a fork in the road. Do I go left? Do I go right? Man, I got here. I didn't, I didn't achieve so much. But I feel like to me, you know, I, I didn't have enough. Now I'm, I start work next week. You know what I mean? I got people that work with me. Our staff here. You know, um, just being able to get up here and just speak with you guys. I usually don't like speaking in front of everybody, but. I felt comfortable. Everybody just made me feel so comfortable and it's just like we're a family. You know, I try to come in here even though, you know, I go through what I go through. I'm still trying to be positive. You know, it's been hard with, you know, daycare and but for some reason in some way I just, you know, like everybody else, like I have to get there. I have to get there. Certificate to Edward. <laughs> 